me, why couldn't we repair? Uh, so today I'm actually just doing a video on this uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus because it frustrated the hell out of me to say the least. Um, I just was slightly surprised by the process you've got to go through. So this is one I've repaired recently on the channel and uh, I, I now obviously fully reassembled, we've got the backpack on and everything, but I was going to give it to my son to use so I've set it up for testing, tested the fingerprint sensor and everything, it all works perfectly. Thought, okay, I'll go through the process of resetting it. Followed the standard Samsung approach, turned the phone on, volume up, power button and nothing, no matter what I tried. And then after doing some digging, I found out the process has actually changed. So I thought I would just document it and somewhat vent my frustrations because I've tried several approaches and uh, it doesn't appear to work any other way. So fundamentally, to reset this phone now, if you um, need to do it outside the operating system, so by holding various buttons, you have to have it plugged into a computer, be that a laptop or a PC. Um, if you just plug it in with the power, it does nothing. Trust me, I've tried. I've tried various chargers. Uh, I've tried it directly off USB sockets in the house. It doesn't work. The only way you can do this is with a laptop, which I've just, or a PC, which I've just got off to one side. So you plug it in, wait for it to do its little detecting power piece. And then what you've got to do is this, it's just the normal approach at this point. So when it eventually loads, it's power and volume up. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to ho keep holding the volume up button and then release the power um, after it turns on. So we'll do that now. So press both, volume up, power. And then when you see the Samsung logo, release the power button and keep holding the volume up and then you'll get into the standard recovery menu that you see on most Samsung so there you go and I'll try and zoom you in just so you can see it um, so standard recovery menu and then in the usual way volume keys to navigate so volume down to go down the list and we're going to navigate until we get to uh, I can't actually see it because I've got glare on the screen wipe data factory reset which is about halfway down and then the power button to select and then we're going to press the down again and confirm it. And that's just going to wipe the device. And then you press the power button once and that will reboot it. And it's, it's super quick like that, really, really quick and easy. But my frustration was more around the fact that why do you have to have it plugged into a blooming computer? I don't understand why that has become a thing. Uh, so you'll, just to show you, this is definitely a laptop that I have off to one side. But I'm just, I'm absolutely astounded by the fact that you've got to do that now. Because um, not every household has a computer. So if you need to re reset your phone outside of the operating system, how do you go about doing it? You're stuffed. But anyway, old man rant over. Fundamentally, the process I've just shown you is super quick, takes you through the wipe of the device. Um, you do have to have a laptop, do have to have a USB-C cable, and then you just follow those simple steps and that will, that will wipe the device. It will remove any passwords, it won't remove any Google accounts. So if your phone is uh, what they call an FRP lock, so if it's got a Google account on it, it will not remove that. You do need to remove it first before you wipe the device. Um, and you would do that by going into settings and then accounts and then selecting the account and removing. If you were in the device and you needed to wipe it, then you would go into settings, I think it's general management and then factory reset. Um, so those are your processes you go through. Super simple, really quick video today. Just wanted to post a bit of a follow-up just because it was a bit frustrating. Um, but yeah, that is all I've got to say. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.